Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the 11th session. In the previous session, we solved few problems based on area of a triangle and we did solve few problems as well. So in today's session, we shall start solving the problems based on adjoint of a matrix that is how to find the adjoint and how to find the inverse of a matrix. Before we find the adjoint and inverse of a matrix, let me quickly summarize few definitions which is required to find the adjoint and inverse of a matrix. The first definition, minor of an element. The minor of an element A i j is the determinant of the sub matrix obtained by deleting the i th row and j th column of the matrix A. The minor of A i j is denoted by m i j. In simple words, elements of a matrix or determinant is denoted by a i j that is small letter a i j i stands for row j stands for column. Then minor of an element is denoted by capital M with i j suffix where i stands for row and j stands for column. Moving on to the second definition cofactor of an element. The cofactor of an element a i j of the matrix A of the matrix A is denoted by capital A i j and is defined as A i j is equal to minus 1 to the power i plus j into m i j. This is the formula to find the cofactor matrix. Elements are denoted by small a i j where i stands for o j stands for column. Minor of an element is denoted by capital M with the suffix i j, i stands for rho, j stands for column. Cofactor of an element is denoted by capital A i j and it is defined with the formula A i j equal to minus 1 to the power i plus j into m i j. Next definition cofactor matrix. The cofactor matrix of a square matrix A is the matrix obtained by replacing the elements of A. When I say elements of A, this is elements of the matrix A by its corresponding cofactors. Next definition, singular and non-singular matrix. A square matrix A is said to be singular if determinant A is equal to 0 and it is said to be non-singular if determinant A not equal to 0. In simple words, elements are denoted by small letter A minus are denoted by capital letter M i j cofactor of an element is given with the formula capital A i j is equal to minus 1 to the power i plus j into M i j. When do we say a square matrix is singular if determinant A equal to 0 and non-singular if determinant A not equal to 0. Moving on to the next definition we have adjoint of a matrix. The adjoint of a matrix A is defined as the transpose of the matrix A i j where what is A i j as I mentioned you earlier it is nothing but the cofactor matrix. So transpose of the matrix A i j where A i j is the cofactor of the element A i j. Adjoint of the matrix A, adjoint of the matrix A is denoted by adj A. Let A equal to that is the matrix A equal to containing the elements A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33. Then adjoint A is nothing but the transpose of the cofactor matrix A and it is given by A11, A12, A3 which means the first row becomes the first column, the second row becomes the second column and the third row becomes the third column. Next definition, to find the adjoint of a second order square matrix directly by inspection. To get the adjoint, interchange the principal diagonal elements. What is principal diagonal elements? The elements from the left top corner to the right bottom corner. So to obtain the adjoint of a second order square matrix, you have to interchange the principal diagonal elements and change the sign of the other elements which means the other elements remains in the same position. Only the sign changes if it is positive it becomes negative and vice versa. 
Now we shall learn the procedure to find out cofactor and minor of 2 cross 2 and 3 cross 3 matrix. Consider determinant of 1, minus 2, 4 and 3. 1 is an element denoted by A11 that is small letter A which is denote which denotes the element and I and J stands for I throw and J column that is A11. Similarly, what will be A12 the element minus 2? What is A21 that is the element in the second row first column that is 4 and what is A22 that is nothing but the element 3. So, the elements are A11, A12, A21 and A22 which is the element of A11 that is nothing but 1. What is the minor of the element 1? The element opposite to 1 is called is becomes the minor of the element 1 that is nothing but 3 that is you can write M11 is equal to 3. Similarly, which is A12 that is we are speaking about the element minus 2. How do we denote the minor M and we are speaking about first row second column which is the element opposite to minus 2 that is nothing but 4. Similarly, A21 which is the element that is A21 second row first column 4. How do we denote the minor of this element A21 M21 which is the minor of 4 that is the element opposite to 4 is nothing but minus 2. Similarly, which is the element A22 that is nothing but 3 which is and this minor is denoted by M22. What is the minor of an element 3 opposite to element 3 will be 1. Next we shall solve about the cofactor matrix. It is given by Aij equal to minus 1 to the power i plus j to Mij. How many elements do we have here? 4 elements that is 1 1 1 2 2 1 2 2 that is A 1 1 is given by minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 that is i throw and j column. Since we are speaking about 1 1 what is the value of minor m 1 that is nothing but 3 minus 1 whole square will be 1 1 into 3 will be 3 again. Similarly, A 1 2 is given by the formula. We are speaking about first row, second column. So, what is i plus j? 1 plus 2 into. What is the minor of 1, 2 now? Minor of 1, 2 is nothing but 4. Minus 1 whole cube, minus 1, minus 1 into 4 will be minus 4. Similarly, a 2, 1, minus 1 to the power. Second row, first column that is 2 plus 1 into what is the value of what is the minor element of a to 1 that is nothing but minus 2 implies minus 1 whole cube is minus 1 minus 1 into minus 2 will be plus 2. Similarly, a to 2 what is a to 2 minus 1 to the power 2 plus 2 into what is m to 2 value that is nothing but 1 minus 1 to the even power is always 1 1 into 1 will sum up to 1 itself. These are the cofactor of the elements A, I, J. Moving on to the second problem, we have determinant of 2, minus 4, 0, 3. As I mentioned you earlier, the elements are denoted by A11, A12, A21 and A22. So, in this problem, what is A11? That is 2. What is A12? Minus 4. What is A21? 0. What is A22? This is nothing but 3. These are the elements present in the determinant. Now we shall find the minus of these elements which is denoted by Mij in general. With regards to this problem, so what will be M11 now? M11 which is I am speaking about 1 1 element that is first row first column element that is 2 opposite to 2 will be is nothing but 3. Similarly, what is M12 which is 1 2 element minus 4 opposite to minus 4 will be 0. Similarly, what is M21? 2 1 element is 0 opposite to 0 is minus 4. 
what is m22 that is the element 3 opposite to 3 is 2 these are nothing but minor now how do you find cofactor matrix this is the first part of the problem this is the second part of the problem moving on to the third part cofactor matrix cofactor matrix is given by a of i j is equal to minus 1 to the power i plus j into m i j so with regards to this problem what is a 1 1 minus 1 to the power what is i j here 1 and 1 so it is i plus j will sum up to 1 plus 1 into what is m 1 1 that is nothing but 3 minus 1 whole square will be 1 1 into 3 will be 3 again similarly what is a 1 2 minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 what is m 1 2 that is nothing but 0 any term into 0 is nothing but 0 similarly what is a 2 1 minus 1 to the power 2 plus 1 into what minus 4 minus 1 whole cube minus 1 minus 1 into minus 4 will be plus 4 and what is a 2 2 minus 1 to the power 2 plus 2 into 2 that is nothing but 2. So, the elements of the cofactor matrix is 3 0 4 2. Next problem determinant of 3 4 2 minus 7. First we shall write the elements. So, what is a 1 1? What is a 1 2? What is a 2 1? And what is a 2 2? What is a 1 1? That is the first element. First row, first column element is 3. What is a 1 2? 4. What is a 2 1? 2. What is a 2 2? Minus 7. This is the first part of the problem. Now, we shall find out minus that is denoted by m i j in general. With regards to this problem, it will be m 1 1, m 1 1, m 1 2, m 2 1 and m 2 2. So, what is m 1 1? That is, what is the minor of the element 3? The element opposite to 3 is nothing but minus 7. Similarly, opposite to 4 will be 2. 2 1, opposite to 2 will be 4 again and which is the element opposite to minus 7 that is nothing but 3. So, 3 minus 7, 4, 2, 2 will be 4 and minus 7 will be 3. Now, we shall find the cofactor matrix. How do you find cofactor matrix? Cofactor matrix in general is given by A of i j is equal to minus 1 to the power i plus j into m i j that is what is a 1 1 minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 into what is m 1 1 that is nothing but minus 7 minus 1 whole square 1 1 into minus 7 minus 7 what is a 1 2 minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 into which is the element present here 2 so minus 1 whole cube minus 1 minus 1 into 2 will be minus 2 similarly what is a 2 1 minus 1 to the power 2 plus 1 into what is the minor of the element m 2 1 that is nothing but 4 so what is minus 1 whole cube minus 1 minus 1 into 4 minus 4 similarly what is a 2 2 minus 1 to the power 2 plus 2 into 3 minus 1 to the power 4 is 1, 1 into 3 will be 3 again. So, it is minus 7, minus 2, minus 4 and 3. These are the elements of the cofactor matrix. With this, I shall end today's session. So, in the next session, we shall discuss how to find the cofactor matrix for 3 cross 3 determinants. So, it will today's class, if you have any queries, you can feel free to upload the queries in the prescribed link. Thank you.